for your big moment by the way we've been married for five years what i just love you so much i can't wait to go on vacation Woo! hey i'm here for the uh naa clear ceremony thing you know yes ma'am i do wow f22 raptor that's that's my favorite nice little fighter jet yes ma'am Thank General Linford and the National Aeronautic Association. And most importantly, I'd like to thank my wife, Sally. Before I was an aeronautical engineer, I was an Air Force pilot. In fact, I even flew in a few of these events. And we used to joke that we weren't in the Air Force, we were in show business. And you know what the first rule of entertainment is? Show, don't tell. I go to the media. Yeah. Best diving in the world. Seriously, wall to wall, of course. I've been there since I was a kid, but apparently the oceanic drop offs of the all are supposed to be absolutely stunning. Well, serious. Most serious man I know. Come Let's on. Let's get out of here. All right, sweetie. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Really? Yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be great. Are you packed? Of course. Well, you know, sort of. Happy anniversary, baby. I love you. Forget about it. Don't answer that. We're Hello? All right. Are you ready? Sal? What is it? What, what, what happened? Yeah, no, that's right. Uh -huh. Thank you. Well, we appreciate it. And yes, happy skies to you, too. All right, well, we're good with insurance. We just have to use the tickets within a year. So young. I believe it, yeah. She was my mentor, my oldest friend. Could have been mechanical failure, fog, turbulence. They're not sure. This is Africa. How's that? Oh, this is an expression. This is Africa. A place where you rarely find out how a thing the happens or why. Is there were no survivors. Yes. Point. Scott will fill you in on the legal implications. And then I'll follow up with the practical applications. Okay, okay. Can we, uh, what about this applications or implications of what? Teresa and her husband Frank left four children. Peace Corps brought them back to the U.S. a month ago. Um, wait. You're not quite where I think you're going, are you? This is their final will. And right here, that's your name, isn't it? 
Yeah, you know, I haven't I haven't seen her in a... That was a long time ago, and her daughter was just two. Of possible guardians, the immediate families are out. Parents have passed away. Frank was an only child. Uh, Teresa's sister is on her second tour in Afghanistan. You're next in line. And Teresa and Frank believe that if anything should happen, they could entrust you with the care of their kids. Well, something has happened. Uh, excuse me, Dorothy, right? Um, of the Ohio family... Uh, I'm sorry, this is just, this is a, a lot to take in all at once. It's the Ohio Center of Family Protection, and it's on the card that I gave you. Right, right, right. Um, okay, so here's the thing. You know, Tessie's my oldest friend, and I would do anything in the world for her, but the truth is, we're completely unsuited to be parents. I mean, not even to take the kids. We have careers, we, we travel, we, we barely even have time for each other. And yeah. kids, not in the playbook. Playbook? You know what I mean. Yeah. I can't cook. I mean, I, I can't. I don't know the first thing about kids or what to do with them. Oh. There's two of us. Nobody's trying to force you to be. All right. All right then. I guess that's that. And I don't suppose you'd be interested in seeing them. Wait, they're here. Little Jordan. They were brought in two weeks ago from D.C. They're staying at a group home. Okay, so you just assumed that we'd take them. Oh well, but frankly, yeah. As per your commitment to your friend. My wife and I would like to have a private conversation, please. Yes, of course. Wow, I can't believe this is happening. I really can't believe this is happening. I do. Very interesting. Honestly, no. No way we can adopt four kids. No way, this is just not real. I know. You I feel terrible, and they're right. I have an obligation. I have an obligation. Maybe obligation. There's something. What? What? I don't know. Uh, I mean, the kids. We're not going to feel good about ourselves unless we do something, mm -hmm. right? And. Maybe we do something temporarily, right. yeah, mm -hmm. until they find a real like home. A real family. Right, real family. And okay. uh, be better than a group home. Yeah. I hope. And that's little short. Impressive young lady. Hasn't smiled much since she's been here, but then who could blame her? The tiny one is Sun Lee. She was adopted from China when she was a year old. Harry is 15, born in Guatemala. He was abandoned when he was three, ended up on the streets. Teresa and Frank adopted him five years ago. And the boy is Caleb, adopted in Uganda when he was four. Jordan. Hi. I'm Sally. I'm so sorry about your parents. Thank you. I loved your mother very much. So did we. Hi. I'm Caleb. Hi, Caleb. Sally. It's wonderful to meet you. <laughs> Hi. Hi, son. Sally. How's your mommy's good friend? This is Javier. Hi, Javier. Hello. It's good to meet you. You must be Jordan. I'm Jason. Hi. That troublemaker must be Caleb, huh? I'm not a troublemaker. All right. Throttle back. I was just kidding. So, you're all going to come and stay with us. Would you, would you like that? Academy, MIT, Collier Trophy, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, right. Yeah, what could go wrong? Jason, how are we gonna do this? I mean, even for a week, I, my mom, you know, she, she was great. I don't know how she did it. I just didn't pay attention, I guess. Because I was just so focused on myself. And... No, tell me about it. All I want to do is fly, and once I did, I never look back. That's them. They're here. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Hi everyone. Interesting place. Uh, yeah, it's a little teched out, but uh, it's my studio. And we live upstairs. Yeah. Thank you, Auntie Sally. Auntie Sally? Ugandan custom. Don't use Mr. and Mrs. so much. You found a lot of stuff. Oh, let's not play that right now. Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! All right, letting you go. Uh, why don't we go upstairs? Here, let me help you with this. Okay, guys, just follow me, all right? You 
soon. Thanks, Dorothy. You're welcome, Jordan. Okay, so I have identification, travel visas, and medical for you. And here is information on Uganda. Oh, good idea. What are you making? Well, something resembling a smoothie. <laughs> and even if this is a temporary arrangement, it's important that they transition as quickly as possible. So I've made appointments for you at two schools in your area, elementary and high school. Great. I don't want any of that. Oh, are you sure? It's really good. It makes you all happy inside. Ooh. You and I both know Jason and I are cut out for this. We don't want these kids to get attached. So the sooner we can find them another family, the better. Well, it's not easy to place the four of them together, but I do have some leads, so I'll call you as soon as I know. Thank you. You're welcome. So this looks like an interesting game. What's it called? Owasa. It's the national board game of Uganda. How do you play? You start on your side and you start sewing your seat. It's easy. It doesn't look so easy to me. I always win. That's because mom and dad let you in. Liar. Laka kopenka now we. Um, I think we should get settled in and then maybe we can think about maybe making some dinner. I have a better idea. Let's just order something in. Great idea. I can help you prepare a meal. No, 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 no. It's okay. Like, we'll just order some pizza, Thai or Chinese, whatever you guys like. We can... Dorothy told us you can't cook. She told you that? I love to cook, especially for my family. I can help you. Even me! In our family, the women always prepare meals together. <laughs> okay, well, Jordan, I mean, in America, you know, lately, the whole gender thing, you know, men actually can cook these days. They like, you know... Yeah, yeah. Let's let's give it a try. Okay, gentlemen, this is it. The quarters. Got a little washroom over here to the right. Got the uh, bunk that you want to talk. Me. You okay with that? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, we've got exercise cycles. We've got a TV, an Xbox, darts. So that's kind of my little work area. So you may want to, you know, lay low. You like this? What is he? It's foosball. What's that? Foosball. Foosball is the national table game of America. Want to know how to play? What do you think? I like this one. Oh! 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 Caleb, how do you like your room? I've never been in a bunk bed before, and foosball was fun. I even be my brother, who tells everybody he is the best football player in the whole world. I don't say that. Yes, you do. Stop it. All right, well, why don't we eat our hot, delicious omelets? Can we say grace? Without food? Or... Yeah, sure. Of course. May God preserve us from all harm, and may he hold our mom and dad in his embrace. May he bless his food to nourish us that we may work in his service. Amen. 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 Come on, boys. Time to cover us. What is that? That's my work. What work is it? I design engines. I love engines. Even me. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, hey, I hey, do. Hey, hey, guys, no, let's sleep. Hey, hey, let's go to sleep, all right? Night, boys. Night. Good night, Major Jason. Tell me something. I'll do it. No, no, no. I 
I'd like to try. What is it? I'll tell her about anything. She'll get into it. Okay. So, what would you like me to tell you about? Mm, when you and Mommy were best friends. Well, when me and your Mommy were best friends, we used to sing together a lot. Mostly at the hospital for little kids. But I remember this one time when we went and sang at the zoo. What's a zoo? <laughs> Well, in America, it's the place where we keep all the animals so that we can go see them. We found out that there was a sick zebra. So your mom said, let's go sing to it. That's funny. Yep, it is. Did you know that the zebra is your mommy's most favorite animal in the whole world? That's why we went and sang to it. In a song. Zebra. Zebra, zebra. Please get better, zebra, zebra, you're okay. And guess what? That zebra was better the next day. And everyone at the zoo thought your mommy was a very special person. They were right, weren't they? Give her a lot of presents. Want to see? That's very beautiful. That's because my mom is special. You should not do this. It does not belong to you. Look. It is our school. Let me see, let me see. Shh. Tell me, little brother. Am I the best football player in the world? Yes, yes, the very best. In all of history. Uh-huh, in all of history. Better than everyone. Shh. Now let me see. Shh, shh, shh. There. You know that place? Good morning, beautiful girl. Good morning. Hey, listen. They gotta go to school. School, all right. No, I mean, like, we gotta take them. All right, we gotta take them. I, yeah, I knew that. No, listen, like, what are, what are they gonna eat? We gotta make them breakfast. Have you thought about breakfast? I mean, like, what are we gonna do? I got it all taken care of. Yeah? Okay, then let's do that. Okay, then let's go. Let's, let's. Well, you guys like cars? Yeah. Especially fast ones. Okay, safety first. Don't forget to buckle up. Jason, someday can I drive this car? You know how to drive a stick shift? Since I was eight years old. Hey, Clay, what's up? Hey, sweetie. I heard Milwaukee was brilliant. Yeah, Milwaukee was great. Yeah, anyway, I've got Tuesday. It's fantastic. Tuesday? Look at the funny dog. I mean, look, everyone loves you. <laughs> I've told them all about you. They've listened to your track. It's look, fantastic. I've got a few new obligations. And I'm what do you mean you've got obligation? I don't understand. I'm sorry, we just got to talk about this later. Can but, we talk about this later? Uh, okay, fine. Okay. I love you, sweetie. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, just, uh, Ooh. Kids, promise me one thing. Do not get jobs that have agents, all right? Must we find jobs now? No, Caleb. Over here, kids get to be kids, okay? Okay, Auntie Sally. Something wrong? 
our school before this. We're smaller. Very much smaller. Welcome to America. Go big or go home. Ah, uh, I didn't mean go home. That's just a phrase, you know, that we so... All right, let's go to school. I'm Jordan Solarte. I was born in America, but for the last 11 years, I, I was in a small school outside Kampala. <laughs> That's in Uganda. OK, so Uganda's a landlocked country in, in Africa. My favorite thing about moving to America is football. Yeah, yeah. I love football. All right. Where Majid Musisi was born, the most famous football player in the world. My memory about the country where I'm from is war, refugees, displacement camps, poverty, drought, famine, cholera. When I helped her hatch a chicken. <laughs> but I really loved it. And I missed it a lot. Apologies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to get that domestic situation kept me behind the power curve. Which means what, Miss Koshin? Uh, you didn't keep up with your expectation. Very good. In terms of airspeed, was I mean, Mr. Brennan? Your airspeed was less than required for the maximum lift to drag ratio. Exactly. Remember, slower you go, more power you need. Which is the case in attempting to get children to school when induced drag begins to increase. <laughs> Let's see where we left off. We were discussing the principles. Come on. Sir, General Linford. We request an immediate response. Tell him I'll meet him. Yes, sir. 34! Let's, let's, let's! 34! How are you passes? Okay. Just okay? No one ever heard of Uganda. Same here. Ah. Oh, who's the girl with the blue hair? In my computer class. Hmm. Javier. You have to go meet Sally. Javier. Look in that way. It's not from around here. What makes you say that? Only highly unusual people can check out the community service booth. Everybody's pretty usual around here. So. I see. Well, yeah, I'm new. Cool. Noah. Jordan. Peace Corps? At least my parents were. Really? And I helped out. Really? That's crazy. Where? Uganda? Pearl of Africa. You've been there. Well, actually, just kind of a geography geek. I've never been anywhere, but hey, capital cities, GNP, National Bird, I'm your man. I like that. Okay. Oh, Louis, let that one go. We'll help, man. Hey, go to So, sign up. You can tell me all about how the real world works. Why do you want to know that? Because someday, I'm going to see it all. Who is that kid? I've never seen him before. Happy Iris Delarte. You know him, do you? Uh, no. <laughs> Never mind. Love, love, you. Make it so easy to do. You make everything all you I love, love, you. Every day. Okay. Thank you. Look, does this just not feel right to anybody else? Like, are we not on the same page here? I'm not. What's happening over here? I don't know. Is it me? Uh, is it the song? No, Sal, no, what no, is it? Sal, what can we do? Have you discussed what? It's okay. Sorry, you're right. It is, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me lately. I guess there's just. 
The kids. Ah, oh, the kids. I forgot. I, kids. Ah, oh, there's kids. Kids? What's up with kids? She just inherited a whole bunch. Cool. I like kids. Ciao. Sorry. Bye. You guys want to rock a little Xbox downstairs? Yeah. Okay, so your mommy is running just a little bit late. Stop I'm Sally's, here. not a mommy. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, of course. But I'd like both of you to stay where I can keep an eye on you and Caleb. You look after your little sister, okay? I'm not little. You are so little. I'm big. Little. Big. Okay. <laughs> are you really a big girl now? I already told you. If you want, I can tell you a very sad thing. Something only a big girl can understand. Do you want me to? Sleep finally. Hey, how's school? American students are different. How's that? Just are. You don't like them? I like them. They're just not serious. Some are, but mostly not. Jordan, are you hungry? You want a bowl of cereal or milk, or you can we can talk or? No thanks. I'm just gonna go to bed. Good, Good night. Good night. Squeeze me again. Boys, it's time to go to bed. Come on, let's brush your teeth. Tell him what you did. You must. Tell him. Hey, boys. Boys. It was me who did it, not Caleb. If you have a punishment, it should be for me only. Yeah, you can use my computer whenever you want. But what do you have to do first? Ask permission. That's exactly right. Do we all understand that? Yes, yes sir. Mr. Jesse. Hey, are you asleep? Not even a little. She said I can't do this. It's not forever. No, I mean, I can't, like... I don't have any parenting genes or nurturing instincts or something. You know how to love, and that's just who you are. That was all that it took. Jason, hey, mm -hmm. these kids are hurting, and they may not show it yet, but it's you know, only a matter of time until, I don't know, something terrible happens, and then what do we do? We're going to handle it together. <laughs> rough over there, I know. But you were born to fly. You know that too, don't you, son? No, that was then. This is now, sir. You so sure about that? Yes, sir, I am. Well, let's put it to the test then, shall we? Go on. Have a few. Jason, what if I was to tell you I wanted you back in the cockpit? Well, I gave it up for a reason, sir. As you said, that was then. This is now. The design team wants you. 
You could be your own test pilot. The Air Force is looking at the F-35. F-35 Lightning, that's a... Outstanding jet fighter is what yes, I Yes, it is. And highly underestimated. Yes, it was. Well, it would need a fair bit of travel. Longer stayovers at Langley. Sally might take issue with it, but uh, you can deploy countermeasures for that, right? Do I have time to consider, sir? All right. Talk it over with Sally, but get back to me prompt. By the way, saw Sally at the ceremony. She's still quite the character. Yeah, she's all that, huh? <laughs> well, hey, before you go, uh, a few fellows might want to shake your hand. Jenny? Bobo Everby. Or oh, Jay. <laughs> you speed maniac. Biggles. Westgate, Freddy. Look at you, you city slicker. You still driving that old Chevelle? Of course I am. Were you still doing the NASCAR thing? As much as I can. Not that we're trying to persuade you or anything, Jason. No, 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 no. I'd never suspect that. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking for a replacement for the West Coast. They're going to sue it. And you're the... Oh, there you go, Charlie. I'm what? Yeah. Oh, Katani, uh, this week. Hello. Please. Hi, I'm oh, white. Down, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. White. Um, Katani, I'm white. And you're the one they want. They're there with an officer. What do you want me to tell them? Look, I told you what? Milwaukee was great. I'm ready for this. This is it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. <sighs> Charlie. Now, really. Really? Okay, then. Yeah. I'll set up the meeting at the Macombo. You never know who's going to be there. So you're saying I should put my game face on? Yeah, yeah, that and do that little Sally thing that you do, eh? Yeah. Huh. Hello? Oh, no. Is she okay? Yeah, no. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Hey, hey, Sally! Gotta go. Bye, Sally, bye. where are you going? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Could you tell me where the nurse's office is? Thank you very much. Excuse me. I'm Sally Danville. I, uh, what happened? Oh, it's all right, Mrs. Danville. Yeah. She's fine. Yeah, okay. It's just an earache. Well, what do I do? Warm water, a couple of these drops every four hours. Hey, what's going on down here? I'm sorry, Auntie Sally. It's okay. I was not paying attention. Can you forgive me? Yeah. Uh, I'll speak to him. No, Jordan. Can you just let me... No, it's should be me. No. My drums. My house. My turn. Please. To raise up into you. I guess you like music, huh? In my country, we have music every day. Well, that's fun. I'm sorry I did that. Dude, it's fine. You know what? Curiosity is good. Never lose it. Let's just not worry about this, okay? How would you like to jam with my band? Can I really? Yeah, I think I can arrange it. Yeah. I'm very ashamed. I told you. It's not a big deal. Seriously. I'm not ashamed about these drums. I am ashamed about what I said to my sister. <sighs> Sit down. Listen, Caleb, I know you weren't trying to hurt suddenly. You were just telling her the truth. Telling the truth is a really hard thing to say. Actually, it takes a lot of courage, which must mean you're pretty brave. It's nothing to be ashamed of, right? Right? Auntie Sally? Yeah? I love living here with you and Major Jason.
Hi, beautiful girl. Sorry I'm late. When did Bobby ever be at the base? Remember him from the squadron? He used to drive NASCAR before he joined the service. It's here at the base? Yeah, I met with General Lumber, but I'll tell you about that later. How was your day? Wonderful. No, not wonderful. Oh, that sounds complicated. Yeah. It would have been simpler if you were here. All right, what happened? Mm, details don't matter, really. Just, you know, kids are getting attached and, you know, the time and responsibility. In our, in our old lives, we're just not going to really get them back until we do something about it. Did you talk to Dorothy? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well? Well, well. I don't know. I just I feel weird about it. Yeah. I mean, you're right. They're, it's the right thing to do, and they're great people. And Wonderful people. The best. So, what do you think? It's not to like. Would we still get to see them? That's not a problem. Just needs to be convenient. Right. So, I will expedite the paperwork, and Caleb and some Lee can probably move in this weekend. Excuse me? Say that again. Oh, no, don't worry. I have a very good family willing to meet with Javier and Jordan. They're not right in town. Wait, wait a minute. You're going to split them up. I explained that it's difficult to find a family that's willing to take off. Wait a second. This just can't happen. They need to go to the same, they need to go to the same family. Mrs. Danville, you were the one on the phone to me about the children becoming attached and how it was too painful for you to deal with Look, any longer. Look, I need this to happen the right way, and I just don't have time for this. I just don't. So. No. Look, Jason. I have an opportunity to go on tour. Do you know what that could mean? Why didn't you tell me? Because everything's out of control, you know, our lives. I, I'd really like them back, the way they used to be, you know? Sally and I need to talk about this. I can see that. What is this about a tour? Clay's got something lined up for me. Oh. Well, don't act so excited for me. It's not that. It's... Well, what is it? It's just, well, I told you I met with General Linford. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I was a little out of it. He wants me to fly again. I thought you said you'd never fly again. Can't turn this one down. It's like a dream come true. Right. So what you're saying is that one of us needs to stay home with these I'm kids until... I'm not saying that. I'm just trying to put everything on the uh -huh. table. On the table, right. So both of us can see that your practical opportunity beats my RC... Yeah, I'm... RC. Hey, just come on. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, well... What are you saying? Let's, what you, in terms of dollars, that's true. It's true. What if there was a remote possibility that I could actually make it? Have you ever thought of that? Maybe I could actually Let's make it? Let's not get crazy here. everything that I've done? Let's not get no, crazy. I'm not getting crazy here. Listen, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm supposed to live with a husband that I love, this career that I have passion for, and, and now these four kids that, quite frankly, I feel responsible for. Wait, I just... I love you. Uh, it's pronounced Uganda. Oh, Uganda. It's good to know. I, that'll make it there anytime soon. You should try. It's the most beautiful country in Africa. Sounds like you miss it, huh? I miss my friends. You know what? How can you see? Wow, look at this place. Who drives these cars? Students? What kind of car is that? Pick it up, Jefferson. Coach Tamlin. This is Javier Solarte. <laughs> well, this is the man with the golden boot. Javier? Good to meet you, son. I'm Tamlin. I'm the football coach here. I'm honored to meet you, sir. You played a bit of football, huh? Someplace else. Yes, sir. I like football. Like it? Don't like it? I don't really care. All I'm interested in is, are you any good at it? Bukowski! Danny! Give this man the ball. See what he can do with it. He's a football player. Go for it. Kind of European. Kind of European. We can work with it. <laughs> He's got potential. Where are you from? Lighten up, son. Kids are loser, coach. Javier. Back to work. You tricked me. Doing you a favor. That? That was no favor. That was to make me a fool. Well, you know what? I have been around. I have lived in the street. I am no fool. I know that ball was not a soccer ball. Javier, trust me, you showed them and they were impressed. They laughed. That's just guys. What did they do? Hey, I'm sorry if you thought that I tricked you. Come here. Hey, 
five years, look at me. I would never do that. Never. Okay? Okay? Come on. Let's get out of here. Hey, Jordan. Hello? Where's all the air? Got out with some girl with blue hair, but he said he'd be home for dinner. Oh, this is Noah. No, Rorda. Hey, Mrs. Denver, how's it going? Pretty well, Noah. Nice to meet you. You too. Hey, check out your music. It's pretty cool. I really like the acoustic stuff. Hey. Keep up the good work. You too. Bye. Can we just go? Promise me you'd be here. Never breaks the promise. I'm gonna kill him. He's not good to kill. Thank you, Caleb. I'll remember that. You better remember. All right, hey guys. Lighten up. Take a breather. But you can't do this. Huh? Don't pretend like you're not impressed, Dad. Watch this. Hello. Okay, Javier. All right, but all right. Just calm down. What? The police. Okay. Tell them we're gonna be right there. Okay. All right. What's the situation? Not good. Jordan, Jordan, wait. He's my brother. I should be the one that goes. Why you? Because I need you to stay here with Caleb and Sung Lee. He's my family, not yours. Javier is our responsibility. You think you know my brother better than I do? Jordan, I didn't say that. What I am saying is that right now, you're in charge of this house and two young children. I need you to do this for us. Please. get through this. It'll all turn out. We'll see. Hold it, hold it. We're responsible for Javier Salote. It's all right. He's free to go. We just got to finish a little paperwork, okay? I'm Christine. I was with Javier. All those guys say Javier started it, but he didn't. They teased him about playing football. They're just jealous because he has way more talent than them, especially Danny. Who's Danny? Quarterback. He's like totally insecure because the coach is so impressed with Javier. Like the football coach? Oh, yeah, like he really wants Javier to play on the team. I would never do that. I never say never. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I don't want you to get in the car. Okay, it's nothing serious. Are you hurt? It's not mine. Take it off, I'll wash it. Jordan, you don't have to. I want you. Is that okay with you? Hey, hey, look at this. Let me show you something. Look, Jordan Solarte. Date of birth. 16. Sweet 16. This is a huge deal. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw her a party and you know what? I'm gonna win this girl's heart. If I have to jump out of her cake to do it. So what I want to know is, are you going to be there for it, or are you going to be in the service again, flying jets? Look, if I take this job, I'm not going to be traveling all the time. If I am, I'll be back on the weekends to make up for it. Weekends? Nice. So I'll just put my life on hold. So, it's going to work out. Dorothy's going to find a family for these kids, and we're going to get back on with our lives, okay? I don't know much about this parenting thing, but I know these kids, and kids need a, you know, a male role model or a father figure. Especially those two boys, they, they need to see how to be a man, you know, how to do man stuff. Mm. Right now. Okay. Okay, what? Okay. Man stuff it is. Jeff. Guys, it's Jeff Burton. Here's some friends I want you to meet. Hi. How are we doing? 
Sorry you even thought that. Our offense is the essence of air power. The stupid cow needs her calf near the road. Peace through strength, victory through devastation. <laughs> the frog never hops in daylight for nothing. What does that mean? No idea. All right, well, okay, maybe you played once or twice. Every night, with my dad. He was really good and way faster than me. What else did you do with him? Oh, you know. <laughs> stuff. Okay, stuff. We used to hike a lot. He show me different plants and, and he taught me about all kinds of things. For example? Like the right way to eat seasonal grasshoppers. Or how to ride a donkey backwards by pricking its tail with a thorn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sounds like he was a wonderful man. He must have been and a great father, I'm sure. He was. Good night. Good night, Jordan. Hi. Come on in. Sorry to come so early. Hello, Dorothy. Hi. What I have to say can't wait. Where are the children? Uh, having breakfast. I'll be quick about this. About what? Family Services has stringent guidelines on guardianship and foster care. We take our responsibilities very seriously. Well, we know that. You said parenting wasn't in your playbook. Clearly you were right. I just finished reading a police report on Javier fighting. Another incident like that and the agency will remove the children from your custody. Sorry to come so early, but it had to be said. Don't listen to her. We're doing fine. Are we? Coach, nice to meet you. I'll come back. Danny, 
Come on in here. Do a little peacemaker. Take his hand. Jesse, get on in there. Have you had any of your colors? Wear them with pride. So you're into music, eh, Caleb? I like to play on the drum. My teacher told me the sound of the drum is like the beating heart. But for me, with this sound, I can forget all the bad things that happened in the past. Dude, that's my kind of music. Well, I was thinking we'd start on the A. Did you think, you know, Stevie? Ready, let's hit it. One, two, three! Now listen, sweetie, you can't bring kids in here. Relax, Clay. It's just a sound check. Anyway, the joint's closed. It's all good, man. Exactly. No, it's not good. It's not all good. Guess who's here? Izzy Poppix, that's right. Come for a billboard. Man is more west before... Clay, it... Clay. I know. Izzy okay. Poppix, one big dude. Hello. Listen, just take the kids to the band room. They won't make a sound, right? Mm-hmm. Right? All right, that was sweet. Let's go. All right, all right guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Now, we all heard what Sally said. What Sally says is law, right? So I want you both to sit your butt, sit down here on this fine, comfortable couch. Don't move. Don't make a sound or nothing, right? No dread, sorry. No, you understand, eh? All right, brilliant. Yo, you, effects kid. Kill the smoke at the sound check. That's it. That's it. Now listen, just give Izzy a little taste, right? Just a wee bit. So this is an audition? No, 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 no. You got the gig. It's just, you know, he's a promoter with a ton of clouds, so, you know. And who's this? Noah. No, Rhoda. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Danville. So you're Noah, huh? Yeah. Out here. Get your distance, three back and one. Danny? See if you got it. Watch me. Put it! kids in any venue on tour, including this one. Excuse me, is this place even open right now? Oh, that's not the point. It's my tour, my rules. So get them out of here right now, or you don't go on that stage. Uh, you know what, Sally, why not just take rent from an ice cream, you know, chocolate, vanilla? What? Clay, just, just leave it. Yeah, you know what, I've, I've got this other gig. It's actually a much bigger deal at the moment, so... Hey, hey, Sally, you put it. so much hard work in so, If you go now, okay. it's done! Why are you doing this? Change of plans. I'm out of here. Me 
Why did you have a party? You turned 16. It's a big deal. You know, thought it was a special occasion. It's not anymore. Jordan, I'm sorry if I upset you. I don't understand, though. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it matters. It matters to me. about your parents yeah you can tell me can I can I really can my mom and I we had this plan. You know, we were together a lot because we all helped them out in the villages. We delivered food and medicine and... Mom and I never had any time together. So that's what we planned. I told her what I really wanted when I turned 16. What I wanted more than anything was just one day. One day, just the two of us. No party. Just... time together. But... No wonder you didn't want a party. I didn't even want a birthday. I want my mom and dad back. football today. Kid is incredible. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, he's really incredible. Oh, Jordan? Come ride a donkey backwards. <laughs> There's a skill set, huh? I'm not surprised. Jason. Hmm? I've been thinking. Yeah, me too. I don't know, there's just something about all this that I honestly didn't expect, but with these kids. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, you do this. 
I'll call Dorothy. Welcome to Parrot. <laughs> Final frontier. Mm, what are we thinking? I don't know. So glad to hear that. No, no, no. I need a big stage. You know, bigger than anything that I've done. Well, good luck with that, eh? Listen, Clay. What do you want, Jay? I'm sorry. You messed up. I let you down, okay? I'm sorry. Please, Clay. What is it? You're the only one that can make this happen for me. Please? Hello? You have one new message. Mr. and Mrs. Danville, good news. We found the perfect family that will take all four children. Transition is set for this weekend. I need to come over right now, Christine. I gotta talk to you. I gotta go. You have no new messages. Wow, two amazing facts. The Wright brothers invented the very first successful engine-powered aircraft and the first recording of Hang On Sloopy, which became the first official rock song of the state of Ohio. Do I appear nervous to you? Uh, no, not at all. No? <laughs> oh, just near everybody. Caleb? Hey, Mr. Hey, Mrs. Stanfield. Hey, Noah. It's getting a little late, don't you think? Yeah, I'm just on my way home. Are you going to forget my sister? I'm not sure about that. Are you scared? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Oh. <sighs> wow. What a day. Did you talk to Dorothy? Well, I left a message at the office and they said that she'd call back. You still okay with what we're doing? Absolutely. What about you? You okay with compromising your dream come true? Well, you know, I was thinking after Buster crashed, uh, they had to go out there and make a living for us. That's still what I want to do. It's just a bigger us, better dream. Mr. Steady, Mr. Jason, help your ass in the house. I looked everywhere. Anything? No, nothing. I'll go check out back. Hold on. We put out an APB. It's just a matter of time. Good. Thank you. I knew you did the right thing coming in here. I wish most parents had your common sense. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, yeah, he's at the Wells. They found him. Okay. They found him at the Melbourne Wells Hospital. Emergency. We're here to see Javier Solarte. Are you family? Yeah, yeah, we are. We're responsible. Hey, uh, can I talk to you guys for a second? Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, no, 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 he's okay. A few cuts, nothing broken. But Good. Your car kind of mangled. Ended up on the front lawn. No, we don't care about that. But why? Why did he do it? Um, can the children go see their brother, Javier Solarte? Sure, uh, just for a few minutes. He's right in there. So, Christine. Are you okay? Are you okay? What happened? There was a message on your phone. 
He found out you're going to send them all away to another family. And, well. Come on. It's okay. Us. It's all right. He, he thought you cared more about him than that. Mr. and Mrs. Danville. Hi. Is Javier all right? Yeah, yeah. he's going to be okay. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, did you leave us a message? Yeah. You didn't get it? We found the perfect family. They'll take all four. Transition is set for this weekend. No, we didn't get it, but Javier did. Oh, I see. Dorothy, we are happy to tell you we don't need a transition. We, uh, we want to adopt the kids and make it official. Well, that's impossible now. What is that impossible? Yeah, I mean, you begged us to take these kids, and now we want to. We're, we're ready. That was before. Before what? I explained all of this to you after the first incident. I warned you. I was serious. I meant it. Look, Javier, he was just upset, and, and he didn't know... Mrs. Danville, we cannot allow it. Allow what? Yeah, I mean, we, we've become a family now. We love these children. We, we want to make it official. That is not the issue. Family services cannot take a risk, and you two are a risk. Oh, no, come no, on. We're... Nobody starts out being a perfect parent. You need practice. You make mistakes, and then, then you know, sometimes you, you blow it. Yes, and both of you have done all of that. Now, I can't agree with your proposal. And if you attempt it, I'll have to fight you in a court of law. Look, Dorothy, listen. You know, when we all started with this, we, we were just concerned about the inconvenience on, on our lives, about our careers and our relationship. But these kids have changed everything and just set us on a completely different path. Better path, you know, beyond our narrow vision. Yeah, we're ready just to, you know, give it all away instead of taking it for ourselves. And we mean that. All good feelings aside, there's no evidence that you two can deal with this enormous responsibility. We can. Now, all four children are to be remanded into Family Services Protective Custody, Please. pending placement. You can't do this. You can't do this. this. Hello, Joy. My mother and father taught me to speak my mind. Well, yes, that's, that's a good thing. You think you know the right thing to do, but you don't. You have no idea how hard Sally and Jason have tried to be good parents. It was an obligation at first. We could tell that. But it's different now. Javier didn't do what he did because they were bad parents. He did it because he was... He loves them. And he was upset because he thought that they didn't love him. But we all know that's not true. And we all love them. And we won't live with anyone else no matter what you intend to do in court. I appreciate your feelings, honey. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. There's a reason Sally was on that list. My mother believed in her, trusted her with her most sacred possessions. Out of respect for that, for my mother and father, will you please reconsider and not fight against it? Can you appreciate how sincerely our department considers the welfare of children? Because nothing else really matters, you know. Dorothy, I, I listen to Jordan. I feel the looks on these faces, and there's no question. The welfare of these children could never be placed in more capable or loving hands. Your case is closed. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry about the car, pal. You okay? Tell you what, these dancers from China were awesome. All right, so listen, I've seen a lot of familiar faces. You're here every year, I'm here every year. We all come for the same reason, to celebrate the family of man, right? Well, this festival is definitely near and dear to my heart. And I tell you what, we have a girl that's a late entry, but she is definitely someone I'm sure you're going to love. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Sally Danville and Plain Truth. I just want to thank Randy Jackson. I want to thank my manager, Clay. But I, I really just want to thank my husband, Jason. And this, this next song, it's brand new. And uh, I wrote it for my family. <laughs> wow, my family. So, uh, here we go. I hope you like it. We are all standing.